Welcome, amazing one, and let's solve this beautiful equation together. Now, when you look at this, you can easily tell the value of t that when you raise 3 to that and add it to when you raise 2 to, it gives you 35. But in this tutorial, I'm going to help you to discover that and more. It's going to be amazing. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with a solution. Let's repeat what we have. We have 3 to the power of t plus 2 to the power of t is equal to 35. Now, we know too well that we can rewrite this to give us 3 to the power of t raised to power of 1. For every number raised to power 1, it is the same number. So this has not changed anything. Plus 2 to the power of t raised to power of 1 is also equal to 35. Interesting. So what do you think we should do next? We can also rewrite this to give us 3 to the power of t is raised to power. Now this one is the same as we can have it as 3 divided by 3. A lot of numbers can be divided by itself to give us 1. But let's use this to help us to solve. So in that case, we are going to replace this. Since this gives us 1, we are going to replace this 1 with 3 divided by 3 plus 2 to the power of t is raised to the power of 3 divided by 3 is equal to 35. It has not changed anything. Now, what do you do at this point? We keep solving, but you have to remember this rule. For every a to the power of m raised to the power of n, it's always equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n, which is a to the power of n raised to the power of m. So let's apply this rule on this. Now, we can write this to give us 3 to the power of t, then we have divided by 3 is raised to the power of 3. Knowing fully well that this multiplies this, and when t multiplies 3 divided is t over 1, you know. So this is the same as t divided by 3 multiplied by 3. It still gives you back this, and this gives you back this. So you have not changed anything. So this is the same as this. Then we have plus 2 to the power of t divided by 3 is raised to the power of 3 is equal to 35. Now what do you do next? We can now replace this with another variable. So we can say let 3 to the power of t divided by 3 be equal to x and let 2 to the power of t divided by 3 be equal to y. So in that case, we are going to have this will now be x cubed plus y cubed is equal to 35. And what does this remind you of? For every a cubed plus b cubed, it's always equal to a plus b into a squared minus ab plus b squared. We are going to apply this sum of two cubes on this to help us to solve. And let's take it to this part to have x plus y into x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to 35. Now, this means two numbers you multiply gives you 35. It means we can rewrite 35 to give us. So we have it that this 35 is the same as, 35 is the same as 5 multiplied by 7. It is also the same as 7 multiplied by 5. We can also have 1 multiplied by 35 and also 35 multiplied by 1. But remember, x plus y is less than x squared minus xy plus y squared. And in that case, it means let's choose the right four parameters. We know that since this is less than, we can choose this because 5 is less than 7. In that case, we are going to reject this because this is less. So we reject this. We can also choose this and we now reject. So we have two cases to work on. Let's go with case one. And for you to also have watched through this point, 
It shows what you do interest. Don't forget to give this a like and let's know what you feel about this class. If you are still new, hit that subscription button. We have a lot to give to you. Let's keep doing this to have. For case one, we are going to work with this. So we are going to have x plus y into x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to, let's replace this with this. So we have five multiplied by seven. And it means that this x plus y is equal to five and then x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to seven. Now this has led to our system of equations. So this is our equation one and this is our equation two. So solving it simultaneously, we can then make our x subject from equation one. If you do that, we are going to have, this will give us x is equal to, we take this to the right side. So we have five minus y. So we're going to put this in the second equation. So if you put x in equation two, we are going to have our x is this. So we have five minus y squared minus our x is this. So we have five minus y is multiplied by y, then plus y squared is equal to seven. Keep solving. For you to expand this, remember for every a minus b raised to power 2, it's always a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So let's apply this in expanding this. And to do that, we are going to have 5 minus y squared. Remember that this can also be written as minus y into 5 minus y plus y squared is equal to 7. Now, applying this rule on this, this is our a and this is b. So we're going to have 5 squared minus 2 multiplies 5 multiplies y plus y squared. This is for expanding this. Then you're going to use this to distribute into the brackets. So negative 1 multiplies this as negative 5y. Negative y multiplies negative y gives us positive y squared. Then we have plus y squared is equal to 7. So this gives us 5 squared is 5 multiplied 2 times to give us 25. Multiply this, we have minus 10y plus y squared minus 5y plus y squared plus y squared is equal to 7. Keep solving. Let's collect the ones of higher degrees first. So add this 3, it gives us 3y squared. Then this is negative 10y, negative 5y. It gives us negative 15y. Then we have plus 25 is equal to 7. So this gives us 3y squared minus 15y plus 25. This is positive, take it to the left. It is negative seven is equal to zero. So we are going to have three y squared minus 15y. Subtract this, it gives us 18 is equal to zero. Now we see that we can divide each by three. So we're going to divide this by three. So in that case, we have divide this by three, it gives us y squared divided by 3. It gives us negative 5y divided by 3. It gives us positive 6. Divide this, it gives us 0. This is your quadratic equation. So at this point, we can factor. Let's get two numbers that when we multiply, it gives us 6. And when we add them, it gives us negative 5. We can go by negative 3 and negative 2. Multiply this, it gives us this. And when you add these two, it gives you negative five. So in that case, we are going to have y squared minus, replace this with these two values. We have negative three y minus two y. If you add this back, it gives you negative five y plus six is equal to zero. 
So factor this, factor this. We are going to have factor y out. This gives you y. Divide this, it gives you negative 3. Then factor negative 2. Divide this, it gives us y. This gives us negative 3 is equal to 0. Keep solving. So since these two are the same, we take these ones outside. We are going to have y minus 2. Then into y minus 3 is equal to 0. So we have y minus 2 is equal to 0 or y minus 3 is equal to 0. Add 2 to both sides. We are going to have y is equal to positive 2. Then add 3 to both sides. We are going to have y is equal to positive 3. Now we have two values of y. Remember we left a statement behind that x is equal to 5 minus y. So let's plug in the first value of y. We are going to have x is equal to 5. So we have when y is equal to 2, we have 5 minus 2. And that gives us x is equal to 3. So it means that when x is 3, when x is 3, our y is 2. So this gives us the first set. And we also have when y is equal to 3, plug it here, we are going to have x is equal to 5 minus 3. When you subtract this, it gives you 2. So it means that when x is 2, so we have this set, when x is 2, our y is 3. Now we're going to recall what we stated earlier to help us to get this d that. So we recall, we said that 3 to the power of t divided by 3 is equal to x and 2 to the power of t divided by 3 is equal to y. Now looking at these two cases, which of them should we go for? You see that the base for this one is 3 and this is 2. So we're going to go for this set and reject the second value. So in that case, we are going to have our x is 3. So we have 3 to the power of t divided by 3 is equal to 3. And this is 3 to the power of 1. The basis are the same. So we quit pass. You have t divided by 3 is equal to 1. Now to get t, quickly multiply both sides by 3. So we're going to have t divided by 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 1 multiplied by 3. And this takes of this. So we are going to have t is equal to multiply this. It gives us 3. So this gives us the value of t. Now let's also do same here. We have 2 to the power of t divided by 3 is equal to 2. The powers are, the basis are the same. So we have t over 3 is equal to 1. And if you still solve, it gives you this value of t. So it means that the value of t we have is 3. Now let's verify this to see if it gives us 35. And to do that, we have... So to verify, we now have 3. Our t is 3 plus 2 to the power of 3. And this gives us 3 multiplied 3 times plus 2 multiplied 3 times. And when you multiply this, it gives you 27. When you multiply this, it gives you 8. Add this, it gives you 35. So it means that this t is correct. But remember, we left case 2 behind. And I will encourage you to try that and let's get your value of t. And if this helps you, don't forget to like, share. Helping us to share helps the algorithm to catch it and send it to more people that need this skill. Thank you for always choosing to let you. See you in our next class. Bye bye.